do I have a favorite? Um, I'm partial to Vixen. One of the ones I've always been fond of is Storm. Well, you know they're all my favorites. I really like Storm. I have a couple of favorites. Um, one of my favorites is Spawn. Steel is my favorite, I think, uh, and Falcon. I like Black Panther. Uh, my favorite black superhero is definitely Black Panther. Uh, he came out in 1966. At such a tumultuous time, what a great first step forward in comic books for a black superhero. Black Panther, from the get-go, was the king of a very powerful nation that was technologically advanced. He was, uh, he was kind of like Batman. He could do anything. And he was just a really impressive, regal character to just show up during a time where, you know, that's not what you would have expected to see. Falcon, because he was the first uh, African-American superhero, he came at a time when African-Americans were experiencing upward mobility in society. So not only the first African-American superhero, but the first one to fly. So, you know, very symbolic. This is a collaboration of students from different majors, uh, professors, faculty, and, uh, and staff at URI. This is a remarkable show. This is profiling all sorts of different work having to do specifically with black superheroes. It's also an interesting look at the overall change that's happened uh, since the beginning of comics back in the early 30s all the way to now. I think there are many ideas and I think the show accomplishes many different goals. But one of the things that was most um, prominent and that drew me to the project was the fact that we're still having those same conversations in the Academy about representation and images, people of color, heroism, power, how power manifests. It's a nice lens um, to explore those themes. It's a very exciting time, I think, that comics are really getting the attention that they need now. And moreover, it's an art form that is constantly evolving. And that's one of the other things. As you look around the show, what you're going to see is a great diversity of styles. It's important that visual rhetoric gets the credit that it deserves with regard to the impact that it has on culture and perceptions. And I hope that people can see that this is tethered to something that is very political, that has socioeconomic um, implications, that it's not just cartoony. The changes that have uh, become apparent in comic books mirror the changes that have happened in, in actual history. It teaches us something and how it teaches us how to see a certain group of people. Um, it contributes whether we're conscious of that lesson or not. So I hope that this type of awareness um, is amplified in this, in this scholarship that's behind all of the things that we see on the walls. It's going to be awesome. And after the show, all of these posters are going to be up for auction.